Breaking the cycle of living on the streets, then going to jail and back again. Yeah, it's a mission of a local nonprofit that just received a roughly $1.7 million grant from Clark County. And Kristen Drummond is live outside the Clark County Detention Center tonight with how the latest allocation may actually help those experiencing homelessness right now. Kristen? Well, Jim and LaToya, the money will actually allow a nonprofit here in town to take a hands on approach to the issue. It's an effort that they've been trying to address for a while now. And with this money, it will only enhance how many people they can help a month that are going in and out of CCDC here behind me. It's been a long time problem on the streets of Las Vegas. My never had your flyer. Alex Cortez connects with those experiencing homelessness. And every day this is what outreach does. He's an outreach specialist with Vegas Stronger, a nonprofit clinic offering outpatient care to those with substance abuse issues or mental health problems. And that help extends into the Clark County Detention Center, a place Cortez knows all too well. And I had an addiction problem uh, in my younger years and I was locked up a lot in CCDC. You said you had an addiction problem. Exactly what was it? methamphetamines and the lifestyle. He remembers going in and out, not receiving any help at that time to change his life around. They just let me go as soon as I hit that alley in the back, I go back and use. Vegas Stronger now addressing the matter and a $1.7 million grant from Clark County aims to help even more people. The contract calls for us to treat 50 people a month. You know, right now we're treating two or three a month. So I'm grateful to be able to ramp up. David Marlin, CEO of Vegas Stronger. He says staff get direct handoffs of clients from the jail. This contract enables us to instead releasing people out the back door, our staff goes in the front door, we meet with them, and then instead of having them leave at two in the morning, they're leaving during the day with one of our drivers, bringing, up, bringing them to our clinic. Addressing homelessness remains an ongoing situation. Taxpayers provide around $63 million annually and another $250 million in grant funding to support programs and services, according to the Clark County website. Around $15 million a year comes in federal grants. And despite the money going towards that help, the number of people experiencing homelessness, though, continues to rise. At last count, around 6,400 people here. And while not all go to jail, Marlin wants to ensure those who do find a different path out. Almost all of them have either a serious mental illness or a substance use disorder or both. Back on the street. Come see us, man, please. Cortez continues to connect, grateful for more resources going towards CCDC to help save a life. I had to search for all this. You know, I had to look for it, you know. Um, and so um, it's nice that the guys now will have a shot. And, and let this start inside CCDC. Now the county also approved an emergency services grant to Vegas Stronger to help with urgent housing needs as well as case management work. Reporting live in downtown Las Vegas, I'm Kristen Drummond, News 3.